What up guys, this is Speko, and today I got you an awesome ground war domination game on the map at WMD. And uh, I'll go 119 kills and I think 8 deaths. Yes, something like that. Using the glue. I haven't been using the glue lately, but uh, I've been wanting to get this the 74U out of my top 5. It was my number 3, now it's my number 4. And uh, yeah, I just hate that gun. But I decide, you know what? I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna camp their spawn and I do that and luckily I have a guy that doesn't want to give up <laughs> he comes back for the revenge kill over and over and over and as a result about I'd say about a third of the way through the game I'm like you know what I might get a hundred kills off of this and I don't know why he's planting tack and search especially just wide out and open right there it's not very smart I suppose whatever and uh, difference, different kind of for me using the glill and not using scavenger. I usually use scavenger pro whenever I'm running the glill because I go through a lot of ammo. Um, but for this one, I think I, yeah, I ended up using. Hmm, I think it was hardline. Yeah, I think I, yeah, hardline because I just got my blackbird on seven. And you can say, oh, this is a cheap way to play. Blah 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 blah. I don't care. I did very well as a result of doing it and as a result of doing it I will do it again when I play on this map and people are spawn trapped at sea um another thing is I've been trying to figure out what's the best way as far as using the combination for chopper gunner and dogs I'm not sure whether or not to call them both in at the same time which I really I think you shouldn't do that now that I've been kinda of testing it out a little more but I think what you should do is you call your dogs in and wait probably 20 seconds, 20, 30 seconds, and then call your chopper gunner in. That w that way your dogs are kind of spread out and being annoying already, and that way it can help you uh, keep from getting shot down as quick. And uh, this poor guy, he just ex he just expects me to uh, sit in that window the whole time, but as you can see, I kept moving a little bit. And there goes the puppies going to work. And... Uh, we didn't take we didn't take beef the longest time, man. Felt like forever. I don't know why. Oh yeah, and I'm playing from blue from the west, one of my buddies. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting burnt out a little bit on Black Ops right now. But whenever I have games like this, it kind of makes it makes it fun again. But then you get in those lobbies that are just absolutely miserable, absolutely miserable, and. A lot of that's going to be attributed to uh, the things you really can't help, like lag and what other people use. I mean, it's really disappointing whenever you call in a gunship and it gets shot down in 10 seconds. I've, I've said that before, but it, yeah, it, it's it's not fun. It takes the fun out of it, and especially when you don't want to use things that and do things that other people consider fun. I guess you could you could say. I mean, like I don't think using an RC car is fun really don't. I think it's retarded. Uh, driving a little remote control car around is... I didn't want to... <laughs> I, I don't want to play Call of Duty and, and drive a RC car around. I really don't. Because I would. I like playing Call of Duty and driving a... Driving? It's not the correct word. Piloting a freaking gunship around. Now that's fun. To me it's fun. And... Not, not stuff like that. And also another thing that people do say it's fun. You know, like, I just can't. Uh, there's this thing about going negative and doing bad, and not. It's just oh, it makes it so unbearable for me to play this game. If I go, I know some when some people play with me and they they don't. I guess they don't understand. They think I'm being a dick or something like that. But whenever I go like 15 and 12, uh. I'm angry. I hate playing mediocre. I hate it. And it really makes me mad. And I'll play with somebody else and they're like, well, I'll do with like 16 and 10. And, well, the thing is, is I'm not trying to be a dick or anything like that. I'm not trying to sound, uh, I guess you could say, arrogant. It's that I'm so used to doing well that that whenever I don't, it just, it, it just sucks, for me anyways, 
and things other th people that, that aren't very good at this game they I've noticed uh, and I'm not I'm not like really good but I consider myself a good player uh, a good enough player to do well consistently but people aren't very good at this game they tend to uh, do other things to compensate so they can have fun with things that aren't fun to me like uh, the spinning around in circles and hoping you no scope somebody across the map yeah that, that type of stuff I'm sorry but uh, that takes no skill none uh, you can say that it does but it doesn't it's pure luck I mean there's probably one percent skill and that you can press the trigger and you can press the right analog stick to spin around and you can press the button to jump but other than that I'm sorry but no nah, man it's all luck that's why it pisses me off when I get killed by it. If I'm on a eight kill streak and I get no scoped across the map, it's gonna piss me the hell off because it was complete luck. Just like I, I just can't stand the mess because I do I do all the work and somebody just luckily just kills me, man. It just pisses me off. Sorry, it's a little bit of a rant, but you think about think about stuff like. You'll kill the kill one guy over and over and over and over, and then the one time he kills you is because he's shooting at you. Some he's attempting to shoot at somebody in front of him. He doesn't even know you're there and shoots you through a wall and ends your streak. It's stuff like that that pisses me off. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just hate it. Also, another thing I I, I want to. I want to uh, kind of put it out there. Hey, if you get the chance, learn how to use frags rather than some Texas more effectively because they do more damage. I, I don't remember if it's they do more damage or they have. Well, we'll just say this. This is really the only stat that matters. They have a higher kill radius than uh, than the Simtex does. The only downfall is is it takes. To me, it takes a little more skill to use, and you can chunk them farther and blah 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 blah, all that good stuff. Now, um, back to like having fun with this game. I mean, it's getting. Sometimes it just feels old. You know what I mean? It feels like this game has been out for forever and ever and ever. And part of that is is uh is I love sniping so much. In this game, it's it's more difficult to snipe in this game than it has been in uh, in any other game, major game that I've played so far. Uh, that being sniping, like uh, let me think of a, a game that's not well, Halo, Halo sniping, Halo sniping was different, but it was still mechanically there to where it was fun to do and feasible to do. Um, the other Call of Duties, they sniping was fun because your your bullet actually hit where it went. Now you can you can do the argument to where a lot of people say, well, in real life it won't hit exactly. But well, the thing is, is this is a video game, and you're, part of the design, part of the design should be not towards realism because this isn't for a military simulator. It's not. We all know that. And as a result of that, it should be made and designed and put together as a video game. And the main goal for video games like this are to have fun. They should be. They should be to where the, the player has fun. Now, the downfall of this game to me is that it kind of, whenever they were trying to get the balance, they, they took away from the place that, all right like I said people that people that I have a lot of fun doing the no scopes the, the quick scope and stuff and everything like that um, they had that taken away from them for the most part I mean it's not like it was if when the game first came out oh it was horrible you, you couldn't even you couldn't even hard scope at all <laughs> hardly it was it was extremely difficult and annoying and you take that away from the, all those people and as a result they all go almost all of them go back to COD 4 and MW2 the only time they I, I, I see a lot of people on my friends list playing that and then you take the players that like the game but the thing that takes away from them is is 
the players I'm talking about are mostly the ones that uh, they do well, that are uh, go for high kill games and, and just want to destroy people. And you take you take a level four split screener, and you get a gunship. And that level four split screener doesn't even know what he's doing. He's the same guy that's trying to shoot down their own choppers, and he shoots you down in no time. That's what's annoying. That's what takes it away. You get instead of it being a kill streak reward, it's just a it's just an icon pop up and a temporary animation to where you might get a kill off of it, which doesn't really feel like a reward to you. It feels like you're you're dangled it's dangled in front of a yeah, I got a gunship and I can control it. It shoots missiles and I'm gonna destroy with it. And then you get it and it gets shot down in no time. That's why hardly anybody uses the damn thing. And then you got chopper gunners. I've almost stopped using chopper gunners altogether because they get shot down so fast. And and they made it even worse whenever they had the delay with the red diamond showing up on the players. It's just this is my opinion on it. This is what I really think it is. And with Second Chance and everything else, it's the developers of this game are not good at their own game. And they have to use these things to make it fun for them. Second Chance, especially Second Chance Pro, uh, being able to shoot kill streaks down easily and stuff like that. And they're more biased towards themselves, of course, to where this isn't a game this isn't a game that's made for competitive players it's a game made for the everyday noob I guess you could say that would be the the best terminology to kinda give it an idea and you see right there at the end I knew we had the triple cap and I went cap day and as a result we went to 2199 but anyways this is geared more towards everyday players and people that are really good are kinda punished all right, guys, this is Beko, and sorry if this turned into kind of rant, but uh, yeah, I will see y'all later. Peace.